Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert already developers. If you are coming from previous versions of Angular, there are a lot of groundbreaking changes in Angular 17 which you need to learn, upgrade in order to stay relevant in your job and in your careers. This is that series to help you. Today we are going to learn how to install Bootstrap Framework. In the previous episode, we learned how to install Angular Material. That's one of the most commonly used UI framework with Angular applications. However, a large enterprises and a lot of uh, companies use Angular with Bootstrap as well. So this is my attempt to help you learn both frameworks so that you stay up to date. This is part six of the series. And today we are learning how to install Bootstrap in our Angular 17 application. All right, so the rule is simple. Now to install any third party library or any third party package uh, that you want to use in your Angular 17 applications, the common command is npm install the name of the module or the package you want to install. In our case, we want to install Bootstrap and we also want to use Bootstrap icons, right, which are used often with Bootstrap applications. So we will install those two using npm command. So note it down, the command that you will use is npm space install space bootstrap space bootstrap icons. This will install both bootstrap and bootstrap icons. After that, there is one more step. I'll show you that in just a bit. Let's get started with the command first. If you are new here, we covered this um, angular material buttons in the last episode just to make sure that it's installed correctly. Similarly, we'll do a simple set up uh, just to make sure that everything is neat and clean in our project. So the command is npm install bootstrap. This would just, if you just want to use bootstrap, you can just hit this command line that would do the part. But I also want to install icons. So I'm hitting npm install bootstrap and bootstrap icons. So it says added three packages. Now go to your package.json. That's one of the most common ways to check whether bootstrap was successfully added or not. So if you see the package.json now, you can see that it added bootstrap and bootstrap icons. That means bootstrap is successfully installed. However, now if you run the application, <coughs> and refresh you don't see any changes right the reason being that we already updated our angular json right and if you go into this and check the styles we said clearly that no we want to use angular's predefined css that's why it's not showing up okay and where do we do it we do it in the build okay architect build inside that we update the styles and the script. Now, since we want to use bootstrap, what you will do is you can just copy this entire thing, the location of the files. Okay. So in, if you have installed correctly, it's in your node modules. All right. You can explore it here as well and check that it's installed correctly. So inside the node modules, you should have bootstrap, like how you have angular, and let me see if I can find that for you. This would be a big list, but you can see here we got the bootstrap, right? So that's what we want to install. And then it would be inside the source. So now you have to check which source you are using. Since we are using SCSS bootstraps, so it will be under SCSS slash. Now you can check for the file that you are looking at, right? Now bootstrap.scss. That's the file that we will need to install in our application. So now this is Bootstrap CSS. Same way you can copy and you can add icons.scss. That uh, now here you would make it icons folder and here you will make it fonts. Okay, right. uh, font, sorry. Okay, so this is the CSS that is required and you will remove this, okay? The, I'll remove the angular style so it won't be any more angular. Now same way we'll need to install the bootstrap.js okay, 
from Bootstrap. After CSS, you need to install the JS, which is JavaScript. Okay, so you can see here JS dist, and you will have all the JS files related to Bootstrap. Okay, but however, we want to use if you want to use any particular one, you can use that. If you want to use all of them together, you can do that also. All right, so the basic uh, thing that you will install is oops, just give me one second. I did, I think I goofed up. Okay, <clears throat> all right, so you got the bootstrap, then you got the so this is the exact thing that you would follow. You can take it from dist also, that's also fine. Oops, dist and you can copy this JS files as it is, which is what you can see here. You can see bootstrap min.js. So these are all the different locations of the styles and the CSS that you want to provide. Alternatively, you can use directly from C dist folder, which is what I encourage people. So you can type here also dist and you can just use CSS slash bootstrap min.css, okay? If you don't want to use the SCSS that's again up to you uh, which one you want to use there is no restriction all right all right so now this is saved and once you do that close the compiler and restart angular application by serving ng serve <coughs> okay so it says could not resolve bootstrap dist bootstrap min.js let's check it out bootstrap min.js which is here let me find that and check why it's causing that problem. We got the node modules and inside the node modules we got bootstrap, that's correct. We got dist and let's check, okay, because bootstrap dist slash js. Okay, so now should be good. So let's restart. So make sure you give the correct path. That's, imp that's the only thing that I have to insist. Now you see the everything got changed to bootstrap. Okay, now if I go back to my app component, again, these are all very, very simple, basic things. Don't worry if uh, too much about it, but I'm, I just gave you all of this detail so that you should be aware where to find it. Okay, because sometimes your location may be different but this is exactly what you would copy paste if you want to get that included. Now in this, I'm going to throw in um, H1 and simply assign a class, say BG primary, that's one of the bootstrap class and say bootstrap class enabled. Okay, and now reload and now you see BG color is coming, which is blue, that means it is bootstrap is working as expected it means the installation is done and white. okay so now it's white color right so this is one of the simple classes of bootstrap to test okay so right now what we have done is we have learned how to install both angular material as well as bootstrap okay now I will probably be focusing more like I said in this series on angular material but this is how you can learn bootstrap also if you want to start using it all right there is no restriction angular works well with any UI framework of your choice all right so I just showed you how to install bootstrap how to test whether your bootstrap is correctly installed and it's working in your application or not all right that's all for today I don't want to push too much in the next episode very very important episode because there are a lot of changes to previous versions so I will go in detail over the folder structure of the angular 17 a lot of people a lot of you have written to me asking where are the end-to-end -end testing files that used to be there earlier where is the protractor etc etc so all of that has gone away there is new support for testing I'm going to show all of that in the folder structure make sure that you don't miss it right i hope you're enjoying the series if you are please hit that like button for me if you have not already subscribed please do that to show me some love thank you so much see you in the next episode